Perfect 10 Rogue was a project lure built with the help of pro angler Jason Christie in 2013. Christie initially wanted a rogue that could reach very deep depths for fishing in the coldest parts of the year, when bass relate to very deep water. So in result, our new product engineer came up with the Perfect 10. It has a slightly larger body than the original rogue and a larger paddle to help it reach depths of over 10 feet on a long cast. The Perfect 10 has a weight transfer system featuring a small tungsten ball that rocks along a controlled cavity at the front of the bait that helps the lure cast farther and give it that notable nose down rogue posture during the retrieve. Smithwick Perfect 10 is a true trophy hunting jerk bait because this bait will dive down so jerk, deep jerk, and reach pause, this really pause, pause, jerk, areas. jerk, wait five seconds, wait, wait 10 seconds, seconds, wait 30 seconds, barely jerk, so deep, it, jerk, jerk it, it hard, jerk it all the time. Really I'm so confused, bait. I don't know what to do. Late winter periods. Bluffs, super deep water, deep points, or over brush like you would a Flash Mob Junior in Alabama rig. You're going to cast it out and you're going to reel it down and you're just going to work it just like a traditional rogue. You're just going to give it a couple pops, little pauses. You can also fish it in shallower spots like spawning pockets like you would just a traditional rogue. I just wouldn't recommend cranking it down. Just throw it out and work it fast and just get it working right over the top of those shallower fish. You might catch a really big one. I like to fish it on about a 6'6 six, six to 7 foot medium to medium heavy rod. I typically lean more to the medium heavy because this bait can catch some big fish, so you want something that can handle them. For line, I always go with fluorocarbon. That's because it sinks. I recommend 10 to 15 pound. 15 if you're fishing it shallower, 10 if you're fishing it deeper. And then for a reel, I like a six speed casting. It's not going to move the bait much, and you can work it really slow. Also, although the lure was designed for bass fishing, it has received a great following in the Great Lakes for being a phenomenal trolling lure for walleye. Hey, check out our giveaway plus more information about this product in the description below.